Oh my god, it's a giant. Guys in the no, no, no. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Right now, I'm going to pick up my buddy Trey at the boat ramp, and we're going bass fishing, baby. And today's video is sponsored by Carl's. I am stoked about the action in today's video, guys. It's quintessential springtime bass fishing. You're gonna love it. And some, some of the things that we're using today are what you would think of when the water starts warming up. We're using a, a frog. We're using square bills, which I haven't used in a while. Square bill bites heating up. Shad spawns early morning, and we're using uh, lunker logs. Things like that to target shallow bass that are feeding on shad and just getting defensive around their fry, summer spawn, summer post spawn. You can find all this stuff at Carl's. Shopcarls.com has the lowest prices, great customer service, and fast shipping. So they have a huge selection of not only our baits, but also rods, reels, line, terminal tackle, all of our new drops. Uh, they've got it at, at shopcarls.com. So if you want to get your hands on any of our new stuff that's dropped or some of our classics, things like we're going to be using today, you can use code Guggen10 and get $10 off your first order and get early access to all of our new drops. If you want to give Shop Carl's a little test dangle, you can start a free trial and start taking advantage of these big discounts across the board. So shopcarls.com, link down in the description, use code Guggen10 and you will get a discount on your first order over 25 bucks. So you guys have seen Trey on the channel before. Uh, he's my buddy, he's my tournament partner. He's also our senior vice president of product. So anytime he gets in the boat with me, he's always got little tasty treats with him, which is fun. I was already on the water in the morning, crappie fishing. You guys saw that in the last video and I kind of had an idea uh, that there was some bass up shallow. So we just started getting after it up in the shallows. The wind was picking up. Get out your moving bags, folks. Uh, overcast, windy. Uh, we're breaking out spinner baits, square bills, uh, swim baits, all that fun stuff. And I'm seeing a lot of shad up in, in the shallows getting pushed up against some, some areas with some rocks and some, some lay downs and things like that. So it's setting up for a good moving bait bite. No, I hadn't fished any of this. Okay. Basically stopped at the marina. It's got good depth, my god. Classic random ram fish. There you go. There you go. It's like I willed it into existence. You did. Good one. Boat ramp bat. What a nice large mouth looks like. A nice boat ramp bass. Taste of cake. Up there goblin shaft. Dude, that loaded up on it nicely. Mm. You've been on that little uh just plain white saucy here lately, huh? It's been a month-long program for me. Oh, I got one on the square bill, dude. Good one. Look at this. This feels weird. I'm not gonna lie. Foul hook? Oh, I, I got it on a noodle of a rod. That's true. This could be large something here. I was just about to say, when's the last time you caught one on a square bill? Oh, big bass. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Old big cat. This I haven't caught a fish on a square bill in a long time. Yeah. Right there on the corner is trying to shake that thing. Oh, golly, yeah. Look at that thing. This is a it's a rather large. Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. Perfect. Oh, he went for the back grab. You got the big hands, bud. Look at the size of that thick girl. Look at that. Shoo-wee. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Banger. Banger down the hatch. Maybe uh, this is our lake. Like, maybe, uh, <laughs> surviving on Robert. I don't know what the... 
What the hell? I haven't caught a fish out here ever. And then I get with Trey. Individually, we're not good. Together, we got them. Good fiber. That's a good one, man. I think that one might be a hair over. Might, might yeah. be. Five and a half. Five and three quotes, maybe. There's a juicy one. I'm going to say maybe six, five and three quarters. Still a healthy looking fish, so we'll let it go. Not that they would not not that we would keep an ugly fish. Put it in the fryer, but <sighs> back into the shallows. I usually say back into the deeps. Back into the shallows you go. Seems like excited, fun, good feedback. Take Great on doesn't camera. Doesn't take himself too seriously. Doesn't think, doesn't Look at that on the tree. Good. Another tasty one. Yeah. It's happening. It's I mean, I'm square billing, man. Square billing into the wood cover. My gosh. Oh no! Don't don't get on that thing. Whatever that is. Hold up. He's 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 giving me the giving me the old seesaw. There he is. Oh, you tried to do it. You know, just a second sample of that rod will be significantly less. Than that, so. <sighs> no! Chunky butts. Pre spawner, baby. My goodness. Well, this is quite the situation we have here, folks. So far, we've got a three, a four and something, and maybe a six, like. This thing's fat, dude. This thing might even be bigger. Haven't picked up a square bill in a long time. That's just getting her done. Shoe baby. Oh. See ya. Look at that, beautiful. Mind if I uh, go give her the switcher up? These are some of the old protos. more shad right here. got a crappie. Oh, dark ass crappie. <laughs> that tells you how many of them are in here, dude. Pleco for a second. Pleco? You ever seen those plecos, those uh, armored catfish? Oh. Dark like that? Yeah. That guy just made himself a little meal. Join the collection. Biggie. Oh! Spit it. Tasty one. Get around the crappies. Find them bass.
They've all been on like key pieces though. The like the bigger, yeah. Ramps, trees. God, there's gotta be a frog in here. Frog bite. Eat me. Yep, there he is. Little biscuit eater right there. Yes, sir. Eat your food, Tina. A whack fish. Straw. She's looking at some crappie on the scope. And... Ice? You know, these pesky bass, they just, just keep getting in the way today. Got it down. Goodness. Love to see it. Took it deep. Mm. Mm. Using that little finesse hook here, guys. A little finesse hook that my buddy Trey fashioned up for these type of situations. I like tackle. You are a tackle junkie. That's a beautiful fish right there. Nice. I'm gonna say it's a three pounder. It's got a nice big belly on him. Mm. Awesome. on the screen I don't know it's, like you said today's one of those days where a cave troll is, is gonna bite so you gotta feed the trolls it's big green trolls didn't touch it Trey just had a nice fish on his frog how are we gonna get him how are we gonna get him Well, on my wacky, I'm doing a little Texas, Texas line size here. I've got 15 pound. I do this on lakes that have the cave trolls living in it, just in case. And I'm glad I've got it on here. These last couple, I just dropped off again. It's 10 foot. So, oh, oh got him. No, the tree. Oh. I thought he had it. Yeah, he sucked it down. One's gonna get it. This is kind of a big frog. Meaty frog. This is a big bite. in the zone with that thing. Feeling it. I'm feeling sort of a jig throw in here. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a terrible idea there. Hot, huh? Oh, get him! Yes, sir! That is a... Oh my god, it's a giant! Guys in the no, no, no. Get him out. No, 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 he's there, he's there. You gotta pull him out, pull him out, pull him out. There you go, bud. Yeah. <laughs> Holy oh. Get that bitch. Get that bitch. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> dude, look at that. Dude, up there in the dirt, baby. <laughs> that was one of the best frog bites I've ever seen in my life. Oh my oh. god, in the dirt. Woo! Trey, you the man, dude. Oh. You the man. Look at that thing. That's a monster. That's, uh, I think that's my biggest frogfish ever, man. Oh my god. You want to put him in the wild? Yeah, get a, get a weight on him, possible? Yeah. Um, eat 
Ate the prototype old eat me frog. Man, it's a, I, I haven't had a big bite in so long too. Like I've really been struggling to catch good ones. That my friend. We're gonna weigh it. Woo. I thought I thought when he got in there, I was like, oh no, don't get off. I just started going straight in. I'm not sure what the hell was cracking up front, but we still got a 360 mount. Oh yeah, we're good. Sunny. <laughs> I mean, it looked like a Ted. Well, one of those bites too, where it completely sharked it, where that's oh. its tail, and I was like, oh no. Yes. Oh God, what discipline not to set the hook oh until it was time. That sound mm. will be in my my dreams for a while. <laughs> <laughs> You cracked his oh. ass. Just right in the nose, too. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Seven pounder. Back to the bushes. Oh. Dude. Major props. Awesome. Major props. That took some skills. Trey threw that thing past the tree right there, up into the crevasse, and then had to steer it around the tree twice. Had a little beef at 65 pound braid. Gotta have it when you got cave trolls out there. Oh man. We just had a goose come up here like he was gonna attack us for some reason. I don't know. I bet that thing would be delicious. Is that the biggest frogfish of your life, ah, maybe? Pretty close, man. I it's up there. Um biggest frog bed of the year for oh, sure. For sure. Biggest frog bed I had in many years, you know. At least five plus years. Captured. <laughs> captured on camera smash the like button yeah this is frog only Back there. Uh huh. So many targets. Is that even possible? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a giant. Oh my god, Trey. Holy moly. That was a big one. premature on that one. Water's so dirty that I'm just working that filthy. This is actually a frog that uh, that I had when we were testing out the softnesses of the bodies, trying to get the right softness. And so it doesn't have the eat me on top of it. It has no color, it's just a plain white frog, but you know, white and black frogs tend to be pretty good. Today's one of those white frog days. Dude. Healthy fish. <laughs> You know, just a four pounder. Yeah. Wasn't quite as big as that no. seven or eight. Well, folks, we're here at uh, pretty much the end of our day. We just rolled into a, like a little pond, backwater pond. Trey saw a herring land back here. I'm like, oh, let's, let's ease in there and check it out. When it landed, shad went everywhere. So, um, Two frog bites. One was over five, the other one was four. That by far has been the bait of the day to catch the big one. I haven't even picked it up. Trey's been throwing jig and a frog. I've been th throwing <clears throat> crankbait, wacky rig, and a couple other things. Just kind of some moving baits and just fishing tight to cover. These bass are tight on stuff, and this is the time of year where they start to get on that frog. Um, it's beautiful. They got a two foot 
two water's two foot high so there's just a little bit of water on some of these things and it doesn't take much there's a lot of willow trees around us um, bugs live in these willow trees they fall out bluegill munch on those things a lot of times you'll hear like little pops under the willow trees that bluegill eating bugs and big bass will hang out from you know spawn basically through may june uh, sometimes late summer if they've got cool enough water if they got enough water over their head got enough oxygen they stay in there where those bluegill are hanging so just a fantastic fantastic day out here on the water with my buddy trey uh, this is uh this is my best day on the lake the last video you guys saw was me crappie fishing that was this morning and then i picked trey up um in the afternoon and it's just been we just switched to bass and just started cracking them as well i think we've what do we got here 25 pound sack something like that yeah 23 to 25 somewhere yeah yeah in there. no we're, we're derb contingent right now <laughs> oh my oh. gosh another another big one oh scary so much fun today guys my favorite day on the water this year so far slamming crappies slamming bass uh, watching my buddy crush him on a frog i'm getting juicy ones on the square bill getting to pitch to specific objects it's just fun times so go ahead and smash that like button we will see you on another outdoor episode here on lfg fishing tv godspeed god bless you and we'll see you on the next one